Hey guys, it's Dan here from TalesysDaily.co.uk. So today me and Tom will be looking at Andrew's latest rubber, the Ryzen Turbo. I'll be using the Triba Z offensive blade, and I'll be using the Triba K offensive blade. So rubber has a very unique feel, it's got a nice green sponge, stuff we've never really seen before. Yeah, we're pretty excited about reviewing this rubber. Uh, we can feel already it's got a good tacky surface, and as Dan mentioned, the unique green sponge, which we haven't really seen before. Yeah, so we really hope you enjoy the review. First up, the fine top spin. When using the Ryzen Turbo, we instantly felt the speed during the fine top spin. We were able to get an extreme amount of pace in the ball with minimal effort required. A lot of spin could also be produced due to rubber's top sheet, which is a tacky surface. The rubber combined with the fast driver blade used in the review was very effective away from the table due to the amount of power we could generate. When the ball was contacted at the top of the bounce, a lot of speed was made with a low trajectory. Backhand topspin. The backhand side felt super fast and at times was hard to execute effective topspins from close range. As you can see here, only small amounts of effort in the wrist was needed to propel the ball. Tom found the rubber to have more control away from the table due to the more time given. The rubber was also very good for punching type shots. Blocking. When blocking with the Ryzen Turbo, it felt very comfortable. We found it was easy to direct the ball and use the opponent's pace due to the feeling we had from the rubber. Turning a block into a mini counter was also effortless to apply. Combination shots. Combining the back and the forehand top spin, we both felt we could generate good rhythm, balancing speed and spin. Due to the rubber speed, we found we had to play our shots more forward to increase accuracy, otherwise the ball could fly out the table if mistimed. Touch play and flicks. During touch play, we were both surprised by how low the ball stayed in consideration to the rubber speed. We had a lot of control, which is likely due to the tacky top sheet. A lot of spin could be applied, keeping the ball low over the net, stopping one another from attacking. The rubber required delicate timing on the flick, as the ball propelled very fast off the racket. If struck well, the flick was generally a winning shot. We both found the guided control flick was more effective to create and open the plate. I felt I was able to generate good quality spin on the serves whilst maintaining good control over the height and depth of the serve. Tom found he was able to backhand flick with excellent spin off my serves, as you can see here. Spin and counter top spins. During the review, we found we could generate a huge amount of spin on the ball when needed. In the clips here, you can see the spin was very effective once a lot of dwell time was spent on the ball. It was hard for the opponent to counter top spin. For me and Tom to successfully counter top spin, we had to take the ball very early and forward on our technique. It took precise timing, but once applied, it produced an incredible counter top spin. Match play. Here's some clips taken from the matched up exercises we did during the review. 
The rubber was very effective against a backspin ball and we were able to obtain a lot of arc over the net. The spin produced set us up for the next shot where we were both able to play dominantly on attack. Conclusion Firstly, we'd like to thank Andro in supplying Tailsnitz Daily with this equipment to review. The Andro Rasen Turbo is certainly one rubber that feels as close to speed glue as possible. We found the rubber can generate a lot of spin and tremendous amounts of speed. The rubber felt more suited away from the table, and at times we felt like the rubber was hard to control from close range due to the immense speed. Overall, this rubber is ideal for the modern offensive player who likes to play aggressively with lots of spin and speed. It is also important to note in this review that two blades used were Andro's Tribo Z and Tribo K. Both are offensive rated blades and are fairly fast. The rubbers are also on the hard side. Perhaps with a slower blade that is a little softer and has more flex and dwell time, these rubbers would have more control. We really hope you enjoyed this review. Let us know if you tried this rubber before. Stay tuned for more.